Hi, my name is Dawn Newman, and I want to give you a quick update on the research that we've been doing on anger after brain injury. This research was funded by the National Institute on Disability, Independent Living, and Rehabilitation Research. What type of person are you? Do you give people the benefit of the doubt, or are you the type of person who tends to assume the worst? If you are inclined to assume the worst, the following interview about our research may actually apply to you. Imagine you're in a grocery store and you're shopping along and somebody comes and bumps into you with their cart. Do you automatically think, hey, this person must have, you know, just been distracted by looking at, for something on the shelf? Or do you think that they actually did this to you on purpose, that they were trying to hit you? So negative attribution bias is actually when you have that, you, you don't give somebody the benefit of the doubt that you're more likely to assume that somebody is doing something on purpose. And so the reason why this is important is because the way we think and judge other people's actions, this actually influences the way we feel. And we're more likely to get angry in situations where we think somebody did something on purpose. And then if we're angry, that's going to affect the way we react. So after a traumatic brain injury, a lot of times they have issues with um, anger and other emotional problems. And anger is a very pervasive issue that can really impact relationships and how they interact with other people. You often hear from loved ones that, I, I don't know what to do with him anymore. I'm walking on eggshells around him. I, every little thing I say, he takes the wrong way. Well, maybe somebody with a brain injury who thinks differently may sort of have a different view of the world and the way they're interpreting people's actions. We all do this. Mm -hmm. But for people with brain injury, they're going to be more likely to do this in situations where it's not warranted, where it's really either very benign, it's a very innocent thing, or it's kind of um, a little bit uncertain or questionable, they're less likely to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. And so that's kind of what we're looking at. I look at more behavioral interventions. And so some of the things in the literature point to the fact that people, um, this could be a result of people having difficulty interpreting other people's intentions. So perspective taking, empathy, trying to think of, well, if I were in that situation, what would I have been thinking? You know, maybe I was walking down the aisle and I was looking at, um, you know, trying to find something and then I could have bumped into somebody. So taking somebody else's perspective. If you'd like more information about related research, please give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you.